everyone welcome back to talk that talk so we have to talk about okay danny lay and b simone and the baby all right because apparently danny lay reportedly had b simone taken off of the episode that she's gonna be in for a while and now over a suspected fling with the baby so if you guys remember b simone before like all of the negativity around b simone happened B. Simone used to always shout out the baby. She was very open that she had a crush on him. Like, she was very open about her liking the baby, right? But now, Danny Lay is going out of her way to request she be not on that episode of Wild and Out that Danny Lay is going to appear on, okay? But I don't know why, because would it really be awkward for you to be on a show with B. Simone after you don't even mess with the baby like that? Like, y'all aren't. Y'all aren't on good, the best of terms. So why does it matter? But I guess she wanted her off of the episode. Now, B. Simone's friend and co-worker, Jess Hilarious, had her back and said that the producers try to do their best to make guests feel comfortable. Don't give this girl a power trip. She also says that obviously Danny Lay needed this episode more than B. Simone because she got music to sell. Okay, so what do you guys think about that whole situation? Now let's get into Young Miami. So Young Miami wants to become the next Oprah and she wants to take her podcast, Carisha Please, to the next level. So are you guys here for more podcast episodes from Young Miami? Okay, I'm definitely here for it. Like I told you guys before, I watch Carissa Please all the time. I really like the shows. So do you think she has the potential to have a daytime talk show? I definitely think it would have to be like a nighttime talk show because (laughs) Young Miami be going a little bit on like the more sexual topics sometimes. Well, not even sometimes, every episode. So it would have to be like a nighttime talk show, but I would definitely tune in. Now, Cardi B discusses her previous bad decisions and how it costed her a multi-million dollar deal with Call of Duty. Okay, talk about dropping a bag. Oh my gosh. So she says she couldn't take the deal because she had a court date and wasn't able to do the shoot on time. So she's reflecting and saying, you know, she needs to make better decisions. She has to be more strategic because she's missing out on opportunities that can get her the bag, okay? So Cardi, and I I don't know what's going on right now. I didn't look too much into it, but I don't know. She may even be under investigation right now for her dropping that snippet of um, Akbar V doing the little sexual act when they were going back and forth on Twitter. She may be under investigation on that allegedly. So, you know, she's she's got to chill out because you're just gonna keep losing opportunities if you keep getting into into drama, okay? You know, she was just, and she's just in court so much. Like she has so many cases, like what is going on? What is going on? Let's move on to the baby, okay? Because he is projected to sell less than 17K first week with his project called Baby on Baby 2. And it looks like it's reported to be his lowest first week sales of his career so far. So after the baby basically dropped the song Boogeyman and we talked about how he put out the video with the Megan Thee Stallion lookalike, do you think that's gonna help him with sales? I personally discussed this yesterday, I said no. You know, I don't think that's going to really help him because I don't think people mess with the baby anymore. You know, and we, and we talked about this a while ago. He got canceled. So are you surprised that he's projected to sell less than 17K first week? I really don't know um, if the baby has much of a career left at this point. All right, so let's move on to Nicki Minaj and Beyonce. So fans believe that Nicki Minaj is dropping hints at a Beyonce collaboration due to her tweeting lyrics from Beyonce's song called XL. And Nikki also posted a video on her Instagram story with Beyonce's music playing in the background. So do you guys think that this is a hint of a collaboration or a hint that Queen B is coming with act two? What do you guys think? Or do you just think, you know, we're reaching? What do you think? So let's talk about PNB Rock. So rest in peace to PNB Rock. We know that he was murdered eating at a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant, all right, with his girlfriend. So it looks like PNB Rock's murder suspect was identified. And people in the comments were taken back by the fact that the suspect looks like a much older man and thought that it would have been a younger suspect. Well, you guys were correct because it turns out 
that this guy here, his son, who was 17 years old, actually is in connection to the shooting. Okay, so TMZ reports that the son was the shooter and the father drove the getaway car. It was also reported that the father and son were already in the parking lot of the restaurant, which addresses that assumption that that all of this happened due to the social media posts made by the girlfriend. So I remember when this happened, a lot of people was putting blame on the girlfriend for posting. I think she posted a story of their food and where they were at, and they felt like that was the reason why uh, PNB Rock got shot because she was basically sharing where they were. But according to TMZ, they are reporting that these suspects were already in the parking lot before he got there, before PNB Rock got there. So that is some interesting new details about this case, okay? All right, so let's talk about Glorilla because apparently everybody's talking about this on social media, how Glorilla has unfollowed Nicki Minaj, okay? Now... Glorilla, I really don't understand, but again, I'm not that shocked, okay? So, so Glorilla unfollowed Nicki Minaj, and this is interesting how it all happens after her collaboration with Cardi B on the song Tomorrow 2. My question is, why do the girls feel like they need to pick a side? Why? Why? What if she could have been cool with both of them and just kept it about the music? Do you have to pick a side? I mean, it's very early in Glorilla's career. I mean, she's just now, you know, getting out there and people knowing who she is. She just got signs. Why pick a side? Why not stay neutral and literally keep it about the music? Because what if you could have been cool or at least cordial with both of them? Okay. And eventually have gotten a feature with Nikki down the line. You know what I mean? Why, why damage a bridge that you didn't even get to build yet? It, it it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me, honestly. If nothing was done, I, I don't know. I don't know. And there was even things that brought up in the past that she said about Nicki Minaj that wasn't that wasn't the best, wasn't that positive. So that is my question. Why pick sides? But what do you guys think about this? All right, so let's move on. So I wanted to talk about Lakia a little bit because I thought that this was really dope. So it looked like the power went out at Lakia's latest performance, but she kept going and went acapella, all right? So shout out to Lakia for keeping the show going. And I wanted to shout her out on this because I think that all artists should be prepared for this because you never know what's going to happen. If your music gets cut off, if the power goes out, and this shows that like artists need to know their lyrics to all their songs that they're performing. And you, you need to know it because you never know if you can't rely on the track playing behind you. You know what I'm saying? So this definitely um, this definitely is a good look for Lakia. So shout out to her. And I wanted to wrap this up with talking about Soldier Boy. All right, so Soldier Boy calls Vlad TV the police. Let me play you the clip. Uh, gangster, you the police, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, and no, that's why I'm not coming to do no interview with you, nigga, because I ain't trying to go back to jail, nigga. You the police. You is the police, and you mad because I exposed you because you the police. All you rappers, y'all can keep doing interviews with DJ Vlad if y'all want to, y'all going to jail, nigga. Straight up, y'all going to jail. <laughs> I don't get mad, nigga. Get mad. I don't get mad, nigga. Drop all the Teddy Riley interviews you want, <laughs> bitch ass nigga. Huh, that ain't gonna change the fact that you the fuck nigga, I'm a gangster. So Soldier Boy calls Vlad TV the police after Vlad did an interview with Teddy Riley, who is the father of Nia Riley. Let me play you a clip of that interview. Nia Riley. Yeah, and Soldier Boy have had a lot of drama. Nia's your daughter. Yes. When you hear some of the stories, Nia claimed that Soldier Boy kicked her in the stomach while she was pregnant put a gun to her head, uh, that type of thing. As a father, how does that affect you? Well, let me say this. Soldier Boy knows who I am. And he knows I'm deep. He knows I'm very deep. We had an altercation. I was called a lot of names. And I got an apology. 
I'm looking for an apology for what he's done to my daughter. I'm looking for that as a man. I'm looking for that. And I think she deserves it. You know, not even me. Because here's someone who really stepped behind him, did the show for him, you know, because she thought this was going to happen and that it was going to be them. I watched them live together and I didn't know all that was going on. So Teddy Riley addressed how he had an altercation with Soldier Boy after he was made aware of, you know, how badly Soldier Boy treated his daughter Nia. Okay, so Soldier Boy is upset, all right? And he said he's not doing an interview with Vlad because that's how you're going to end up getting arrested. So he's like, these rappers doing interviews with Vlad, he's the police, and that's how you're going to end up getting arrested, all right? But we are not addressing the bigger matter at hand. The bigger matter at hand is that you are allegedly putting your hands on your ex-girl, okay? On Nia, you were treating her very terribly to the point where her father had to get involved. So we need to address that bigger matter at hand. And I think that Nia deserves a public apology after all of this is being aired out again, okay? So what do you guys think about that situation? I will see you in the next video. Bye.